I am going to show you how to make a. I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop to stitch together some different photographs. A friend of mine and coworker uh, wanted to know how to put Nicolas Cage's face on a cat, and so I showed them. So I think it's a valuable skill to have for other reasons, but it's a very good one.
you know, eyes and we'll go with the eyes and eyebrows for this part. Um, oh, you gotta click the letter you want to edit. This might not have been the best uh, picture to choose because um, the eyes are not lined up, and you know, the cap is sort of reclined. Um, and you can change the opacity of your eraser tool, maybe down to 30%. And that'll get, oh, and we can also soften the hardness of the edges so that it doesn't look so messy. I mean, it'll just blend it better. And just click, 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 click. That's what you might hear my mouse be doing, uh, doing because um, that sort of, you know, every time you go over, if I were to sweep over like this, 30% down, 30% down, 30% down. You know, just clicking, it'll take down each click 30%. So it's a little bit, um, I don't know, just a different approach, I guess. I mean, it's pretty simple, but I like how it works. So it's starting to look like this cat has Nicolas Cage eyes, which is kind of bizarre. And that was just, you know, erasing and changing the opacity of the eraser. Um, you know, really simple. Um, and we can bring this one back. Ah, scary. Maybe line his mouth up with the mouth of the cat. And then pick up the eraser, jack up that opacity again. Goodbye. Ooh, I kind of like leaving that nose. Oh, it's scary. So scary. Okay. And I think that's on the other layer. So you got to make sure you're on the right layer to erase things. And whoa, whoa! Control Z. Rely on it. I don't know why people like putting Nicolas Cage features on cats, but it is, for some reason, kind of rewarding. Oh, I think we'll just move this over a touch. And actually, Control T again. Oh, and you can see by this box that there's something up high that we're gonna have to. Enter sets it. Get that eraser again. Um, actually, let's just raise the opacity so we really see what we're, we're getting. So it looks more like Nicolas Cage just because I was just. Yeah, that's much better. Then we get that eraser, drop the opacity. escape just because I wanted to see what was up there but you can see this line here is not cool and that's gone all right control s to save you always want to save these things and I'll just save it to the desktop as a PSD which is the standard file format for Photoshop okay 
And we can zoom out. Yeah, creepy. It's all right. I mean, yeah. those eyes are like pools. Beautiful. And speaking of eyes like pools, let's place one more thing for fun. Whoa, Steve Buscemi, what are you doing here? Um, obviously that's too big. Um, we'll just drop the opacity. So she's pretty, but not Steve Buscemi pretty. You see how we can flip that image? Flipping it does not seem to constrain the, but there's ways to do it. I mean, we could drag guides down or something to make sure that we're getting the right size. But you see how I'm lining it up already? I'm trying to get his eyes over her eyes. And Photoshop, for some reason, actually just lined that up for me. I guess that's a new feature. I'm a, kind of a CS2 kind of guy, and this is a CS6 that I'm using, which is the addition of the pro, you know what I mean? The new model, so to speak. And then just arbitrary degrees. And we're almost rotated there. All right, great. And we'll do oh, smart object again. So layer, rasterize, layer. Let me get our eraser tool. erase the heck out of that layer. We're only really interested in Steve Buscemi's beautiful eyes for this. Actually, I feel like that, I don't know if the eyes got, oh, I see. Passive wasn't all the way there. Ooh. That I did not see. All right, we'll bring up Steve Buscemi's um, eyes. Ooh. It's kind of cold-blooded, I guess, but whatever. I don't know where. Oh. Yeah, that's actually what I should have been. I guess it's a weird thing to do. It was much easier to line up Steve Buscemi eyes on her than it was on the cat. the move tool V uh, right, control T 